Okay, this video is for uh, Chamunks is his screen name. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing this for you so that we can see what's going on here. Uh, so this is my setup right now. I've got Pulse and Jack uh, working together. And um, my system here is my input, which is my microphone right now, which is actually whatever the Pulse audio input is. Um, I have Capture 1 going to both left and right because my microphone is mono, so if I was to, let's say, disconnect this, you'll only hear it in the left channel, and if I had it like this, which is the default setting, you still only hear it out of the left channel because uh, I don't have a, a stereo mic. So I just split the audio like this to get both left and right channels. Now, to record applications, uh, obviously if the application is compatible with Jack, uh, such as, uh, let's see, uh, ZYN. So if I start up ZYN, and I come in here and I hit Control R and Control G, which just reorganizes stuff, um, you can see ZYN right here is connected. Right now it's going to my speakers, so these are my speakers here. I really only have left and right set up, but my v audio card handles more. So, but mainly we're gonna focus on front left and front right, playback one and two, which are my left and right speakers. So um, if I was to go in here, open up the keyboard, and I turn up my speakers, you can hear it through the speakers, but it's not recording directly to uh, Pulse Audio, which is what I'm recording from. So I'm going to connect it here and here and uh, the worst part about this is I really don't know how loud it's going to be. This might be kind of loud for you. Or it may not be. That's the hardest part about recording applications while you're recording your voice. It's kind of hard to gauge uh, how they sound. Now I could put my uh, capture out to these outputs and put on headphones, but I'm not doing that right now. So we got that. But uh, you were giving an example of um, video games and Skype and recording audio from them, and they probably don't work with Jack. So you got to work with them through Pulse. So I got an example. I'll open up uh, right here. I've got VLC open, and I've got um, uh, Audacity here open. And I can start playing one of these. And uh, you're probably not hearing it because my speakers are turned down, and it's not connected to our inputs. So right now, if I take this and put it here, and this and put it here, uh, you should be hearing that now. Once again, I don't know how loud it is. I'm going to go back up here and pause that or stop it. And the uh, thing is, both of these are playing out through those same outputs, so I can actually start playing both these at the same time. And they're probably kind of noisy. Um, so the question is, how do you control the volume of those. Once again, it's kind of hard unless you have headphones and you set the output out to the headphones so you can hear your voice in them. It's hard to gauge the audio. But if you open up, uh, let's see, I already have it open. Yes, your sound saying you said you're using Ubuntu, so you're probably using, uh, I, I'm using GNOME. I'm assuming uh, the sound settings here are probably the same or something similar on your system. I have my output set to jack. My input is my microphone using the jack source. Um, but if you go all the way over here to the last tab, you have applications. Um, and right now, this ALS plugin FFmpeg is actually um, uh, I'm recording with FFmpeg, so it's showing the volume for those. But as soon as I press play on both of these, and I hope you can still hear me, you see that they show up here, so I can actually control the volume of these programs individually. So anything uh, that Pulse is using, uh, it could be you'd be watching uh, a flash video on YouTube, uh, and Chrome or Firefox will show up in here, and you can control the individual volumes in here because uh, they're all coming out these two inputs here. So as long as you're connecting, Control R, Control G to organize this, uh, these front left and front right, once again, uh, my sound card has multiple outputs for surround sound. I don't know if yours does, uh, but mainly for stereo. These two to the two inputs here, uh, any program using Pulse Audio will be coming out of those outputs, and then you just have to control the volume levels with your regular sound system. Uh, little settings there. I hope this was uh, somewhat useful, not too confusing, and uh, if you have any more questions, let me know.